Hi, it's Shamila again. I'm in the salon and today I want to talk about hair growth and how hair growth is um, connected to everything. Uh, a lot of my clients ask me, how can I grow my hair? And so my answer is uh, usually a series of questions. Do you eat well? Um, do you exercise regularly? Do you drink a lot of water? Um, and how is your stress level? Do you have a form of release? Like what do you do to have fun? Or what do you do, you know, to blow off steam? And what I've um, seen through the years is uh, a phenomenon I call stress spots where people's hair breaks for no physiological reason. It just breaks off or it just stops growing. So that may be something to consider if you're dealing with hair loss or stunted hair growth because hair growth is just a normal function of your body. And if everything is not right with your body, with your environment, with your thinking, it can affect your hair growth and it could actually cause damage. So sometimes it's not the comb you're using, it's not the shampoo, it's not the conditioner, it is the fact that you're stressed out, that you're living, you know, you may be living a lie, you may be living beneath your privilege, you may be living with someone that you're in complete disagreement with or that you're at war with or someone that's indifferent to you. Um, all of these things contribute to your entire health. So hair um, is just one expression of that. It's just a way that um, you know your body reflects what's going on normally um, so I want to encourage you to uh, clear your space so you know reevaluate your priorities um, look at what you do when you're stressed out or when things don't go your way how do you respond do you internalize it are you angry are you bitter at someone um, are you resentful these are all things that affect you, um, you know, your, your mental health, your emotional health, but eventually they affect your physical health too. Um, all of this, um, you know, develops chemical reactions within your body. So I'd like you to just take, take a look at that and realize that you can change it. If something or someone is stressing you out, you can adjust. You only have control of what you do and how you spend your time and how you spend your thought space how you spend your heart energy, all of those things are your decision. Um, you know, no one else can make you do anything. You must choose to do it. Um, you can allow them to influence you or manipulate you or, you know, control you. But ultimately, you're the one making the decision and you can change it. That's the thing that um, I really want to hit home today, that if your environment is not good, if your you know, your lifestyle is not the best, you can change it. And, you know, it may take some sacrifice on one end or it may make some mean some hard decisions on the other end, but you can change it. You can change your career path. You can change how much money you make. You can change the circle of people that you spend time with. All of these things are adjustable and you don't have to do anything. You choose to do it. So I just want to encourage you and empower you to make a choice because every choice, everything, you know, in your life, in your lifestyle, in your surrounding, in your family, your friends, it all affects your body. And eventually, you know, that's going to affect your hair. It can affect the health of your hair. It can affect the length of your hair. It can affect the strength of your hair. And it could actually cause damage in the long run if you don't fix it. 